It has been said throughout time, the one question philosophers could never figure out is, can I be a mod? Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another video. Let's get into it. All right, so this video is about one thing, a class. I don't have, I don't even have the class. People are asking me on the stream, Corey, how's the class? I haven't even tried it. I wanted to wait for a video to try it out. So it's in the item shop here. How you get the class? Well, of course you get out of the item shop like that. So yeah, that's proof that I haven't even used the class yet. But if you would like to use the class, you have to go to Hero Mart and purchase the shirts, $20, uh, unless you get the biggest size, which is an extra $2. Kind of found that kind of weird. I mean, all the other ones are the same price, but two dollars extra if you're, if you're a large fellow. Um, other than that, uh, the shipping on the shirt also keep that in mind. It's not just twenty dollars. It's actually more like thirty dollars or forty dollars depending on where you live. Uh, so it's not just twenty dollars for the shirt. Uh, I'd recommend if you're buying things off your mart to buy a bunch of things all at once. So like maybe save up. Uh, and then order them all at once so that like I think it's like $17 uh, at least it should get shipped to my house if you live in the US it might be cheaper uh, but it's like $17 to get shipped um, so maybe wait till you have a few items that you would want to get off your mart they do have a lot of cool items like they just got brand new t-shirts today that I kind of want but the items aren't really that, that good that you get with them although they are including actual like items with them and not just hero points which I really like uh, two capes AQ 3d and a dual wield of this if you buy both of them together and if you buy them separately uh, there's like single blades so that's pretty cool and I think this one only comes with AQ 3d I oh wait does it come with that adventure cross world is that an adventure cross world item looks like uh, they took the AQ 3d item and made it 2d for adventure cross worlds and that's only available with that shirt so uh, it's also new print stuff so I'd wait till you save up and uh, like have a few different items like three items at least uh, because the shipping is pretty expensive from here Mart. at least in my in my experience if you live in the US it might be a little bit cheaper but we're not talk we're not here to talk about here Mart. we're here to talk about a class we got from here Mart. all right so this is a video about a class why not go over some of the skills and the description for the skills I really like this they should use these kind of descriptions for skills more often in their new classes this class is actually four years old and when i'm reviewing it today i mean i'm sure a lot of people have never used this class and i'm sure some people don't even know this class existed before this video but uh yeah this class is four years old there's a fun fact for you uh the auto attack reasonable strike i love the name uh it uses 10 mana for an is that an, wait is that my two okay never mind that's my two skill our auto attack quick slap it maybe it'll go away <laughs> on a two second cooldown so uh our rank one is actually our first skill right there they're your two button on your keyboard 10 mana four second cooldown this is a completely average hit which does perfectly normal damage sounds very reasonable to me rank two is a skill called button mash uh it requires 15 mana takes six seconds to cool down you really have no clue what you're doing you just hit some buttons and hope something works to slightly higher than average damage and a higher than average crit chance for your rank 3 skill you have the skill freak out 15 mana 11 second cooldown you're probably fighting a monster why wouldn't you panic doubles haste so you can flap your hands at the thing for a while these skills are such greatly named for your rank 4 passives you have fight response increasing your damage by 10% and flight response Increasing your haste by 10%. Those are very good rank 4s. And last but not least, we have a rank 5 store brand painkiller. <laughs> so first I read that. 45 mana. That's quite a considerable amount of mana. And on a 20 second cooldown. That's a long cooldown. Um, how do heroes handle all this fighting all the time? Take a few pills so you feel better. Wow, okay. Pass the heal over time and reduces incoming damage for a little... Damn, so we're abusing painkillers. This game was this game at one point rated everyone 10 and up. Okay, um, didn't expect painkiller abuse to be your uh, fist skill. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that if you're watching this. Don't take painkillers, please. Um, okay, um, moving on. Edge, 
All right, let's quickly compare the rank one version of the class to the rank five version class. So let's try to kill this pirate level 40. We're not on the testing server, don't worry. A lot of people got really triggered last time I did a class video that I was playing on the testing server for Legion Doom Knight. Yeah, I'm gonna rant about this for a little bit. Uh, even though Legion Doom Knight, the only reason they made a new version of Legion Doom Knight was for the testing server and I was pointing out how shit it was on the testing server even though they made it for the testing server. This class is actually doing really good damage uh, with no rank ups. Can't wait to get the 10% more damage. First skill seems to be A-OK. -okay. Now, if this skill was, if this class was a modern class, this first skill would be a stacking skill. I have no doubts about it. But you can tell that this class is a little older because there's no stacking skill. And the uh, dot is 45 mana. Gotta pop, pop some pills. So. Yeah, a lot of people got really triggered about the last video, how I was playing on the testing server and everyone said it was a good class, but they're all using it on the live server, uh, which I don't blame them for using it. I mean, everyone's playing on the live server right now, no one's actually playing on the testing server, but my point of the last video was that that class was made for the testing server, not for the live server, so I only used it on the testing server, and I'm sure Legion Doom Knight, the new one, is fine on the live servers but I'm really worried about it on the testing servers. So this class is doing really decent damage by itself with no rank ups so let's get to rank five and let's check it out once it's there all right so i got the class to rank five and ooh, the damage is not that good on this class uh when people told me it was for a goof they were right uh it is it is for a goof but it was dodging a lot i didn't die a single time i've died with much better classes in the game uh farming at nightmare and I did not die. I mean, it was with a full room of people, and there were healing, so that might have helped. But yeah, never died with this. 69k, level 40, pirate captain. Let's do some work on this guy. So, basically, uh, the issue is freak out, and you're too skilled. You spam that. And you can hit this if you want to sometimes. I mean, it helps. Actually, probably freak out and three skill would be the best combo. So, if we go three, four, five. Five when we need it. So, we want to use our four skill first and our three skill. Uh, this is full stable, full fighter, enhancements. See, we're taking damage, but our dodge chance should also be pretty high. Uh, decently high. I was dodging a lot. Maybe this guy has a really good hit chance. I don't know. But I was dodging quite a bit when I was farming for rank 5. Like, I, was only, I wasn't getting hit that often. Seems like I'm getting hit quite a bit more. Let's pop some pills. Alright, there we go. Let's see what that heal does. Alright, so it's heal and damage resistance, I think. So that should help. Is it gonna even get us? Is that fifth skill for 45 mana even? It didn't even get us back up to full health. That's pretty sad, uh, to be honest. So now we gotta save up some mana. I'm not gonna use any skills except for the four skill until we can save up some mana. So we do need to pop that again to get the full health. All right, we'll pop the fifth skill again. Maybe use the two skill here do slightly above normal damage so yeah I mean this class could technically be good at PvP for like a dodge class but I think he'd be better off with ninja to be honest or like a healer a rogue enhanced healer or like thief enhanced healer or whatever the enhancement that lets you dodge is called I always forget what it's called but you'd probably be better off with something like that let's hit our fifth skill again Go a little bit of healer time the healer time is not Maybe hybrid would be a better enhancement to increase that heal over time health. Um, and maybe luck too, to increase my dodge chance. Uh, we'll have to try this out with luck. So you can see this fight. I mean, if we stick around here, we there's a chance we die, right? But I think, I think this about, it's about a coin flip whether or not we actually last this out. But it's not a boss soloing class. It's not what this class is for. It's not for soloing bosses. Let's put half luck on this class. Let's we'll see if that does anything better. All right, I now have level 65 luck on the class and the weapon, which is unarmed, full stable, of course. So let's try it out on this little pirate guy here. See what we can do for damage when we don't have to worry about staying alive. So there is about as fast as you're gonna kill a pirate right there. So, ooh, 900. Whew, we almost hit 1K. So like I said again, this class is four years old and it really brings me back to a super tie with AQ when classes weren't so uh, very weird like they are today. Like every class is a little, I mean, I like that they're 
like all the classes are very different but it's just a very simple class and that's what i like about it the most uh is it worth let's talk about this is it worth it twenty dollars for a single class uh, a normal class is of course ten dollars or 2k acs right so that's a twenty dollar class if you're not paying anything for shipping plus you're paying for shipping unless you get the code somewhere else which i wouldn't recommend trying to do that that's not gonna work you're, you're gonna pay for shipping so is it worth it for the money no it's not worth it for the money but if you just want it for a goof if you want the badge on your character page right there uh and if you want the, all that stuff and plus you get a t-shirt in real life uh that's probably the biggest deal that's why i actually got the class i i did i just really didn't care too much about the class that's the reason why i even tried it till this video i just want the t-shirt to be honest 100 percent honest and let me show you the cesaro pet you also get with this class uh, if you're not convinced already that it's a very good deal so here's a little cesaro i will have him equipped for the rest of the video his running animation is one of the best in the game i wish i could make my character run like that in the game it's so good someone spent so much time on this pet and i, I just love it and he also has an animation you might see here in a little bit but so in conclusion uh it's a fun little class to use maybe if you want a pvp or something with it and it, it won't have a hard time killing lower health enemies especially with the amount of dodge and stuff it has but it's not going to compete with classes that were released there we go there's the animation in the past four years uh after it because classes have got a lot better since this class came out and i think even at the time that this class came out it wasn't the greatest class uh and it wasn't supposed to be it never was meant to be that but you do get really cool pet you also get a muffin melee weapon I already showed this in the video where I unbox the t-shirt. If you'd like to see the video where I unbox the t-shirt, it'll be the top right-hand corner of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. Uh, I spent a lot of time editing this video so far, and I'll probably spend more time. So if you appreciate that, leave a like. And subscribe if you're not already. I upload more videos like this every week. So you can check those out. Multiple videos per week on Adventure Quest Worlds. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.